Hello, welcome to Aqua Lifestyle. I'm Glenn, and today we're going to see which of the common Simrad units are the better unit for your application. We've got the Cruise, we've got the Ghost Series, and the NSS Evo 3S. We won't cover the NSO in this video, that'll be another one, but let's see which one of these three is the best machine for you. Now the Simrad website is a wonderful place to get started and get familiar with the Cruise, the Go series, and the NSS Evo 3S series. And you can find a lot of details and information on each of the units there. This video is basically to cut to the chase and explain exactly what the benefits are and the limitations are for each of the series, the Cruise, the Go series and the NSS EVO 3S. So we're just going to cover the basics here. I do have videos on each of these units in detail, their capabilities and what they're able to do. So click the links down below or as they pop up on the video if you want to see those particular videos in detail. Now as their website points out in the Fish Finder Chart Plotters, there's basically four types of uh, units that they offer, starting with the crews. Now the Simrad Cruise is their entry level unit, but this by no means means that it's a cheap or ineffective machine. It's got an excellent chart plotter, it's got a very good basic sounder on it, uh, very simple to use and very simple to install. Simplicity even is built in on the back with just two ports, one for your transducer and one for your power cable. Not complicated at all, and they're different sizes so you even know which one plugs into what hole. Cruise is available with five, seven, and nine inch displays, and the display is very simple. You've got a chart, you've got a sounder, you've got a navigation screen, and then you have three different combo screens that you can customize. And then your other functions are down with hotkeys down below. Very simple and easy to operate and very easy to learn. The keypad on the side, rather than a touch screen, enables you to access all your functions and features on the display. Very simple buttons, self-explanatory, and again, very easy to use, very easy to select, and you'll be up and running in no time. Despite its simplicity, it does have features like tie tables, which you find in more complex, expensive machines. The sounder is a very good basic machine, and most of the units come pre-packaged with an 83200 transducer, giving you very good bottom range and bottom definition with your traditional sounder. If you're in the United States, the base chart that comes preloaded in the machine is perfectly adequate for most people, although you can add cartography through a micro SD card slot. So if you're looking for something that's very simple, very basic, the Simrad Cruise might be the option for you. If you want to learn more about this machine, just click the link above or down below in the description for a full video. Now the next up in the Simrad series is the Simrad Go. Now this one is a very capable machine with a touch screen and has uh, quite a bit more capability than the Cruise. If you're serious about fishing, if you want to add radar or other components to it, this is the machine for you. Now the Go XSR series are available in 5 inch, 7 inch, 9 inch, and 12 inch. And not all size displays have the same capability. The 5 inch does not have and the 7 inch does not have the same capabilities as the 9 and the 12. For example, the latest software version in the Go 12 enables it to interface and share data and display uh, with another 12 inch unit. So if you have an upper and lower station uh, with the 12s, you can share all your information back and forth. You can also add radar and connect through NEMA 2000 to other devices. Now the cartography and chart plotter features in the GO series are excellent. You can do all kinds of things on the charts. Uh, the preloaded charts, and there are some different types of preloaded charts on these machines, so check that carefully. Um, but uh, the charts that are preloaded or the charts that you can add to it to really make it an excellent chart plotter. Uh, feature packed. You can do all kinds of things with the chart plotter. Again, to see those in detail, click the link above or down below in the description. You can see full detail of all the things you can do with the chart plotter, including overlaying structure scan and creating your own bathymetric charts 
uh, while you're underway. So if you're in an area where the cartography isn't very good, you can um, turn that feature on and create um, bathymetric charts for the area that you're passing over. Now, although the uh, chart has lots of features, it is very simple to use with the touch screen creating waypoints and routes is very, very simple and moving your way around the chart is simple and relatively quick. Now, the sounder portion of the Go series is one of the features that really shines on this machine. Uh, you've got your traditional sounder and depending on the transducer choice, and many come with the active 3-in-1 transducer prepackaged in the box, uh, with that transducer or one similar to it, you do have side scan and down scan capability, which is easily accessed through your home screen. Now the resolution and ease of operation on the side scan is outstanding. The same is true for the down scan. Um, in the down scan mode, you have what's called fish reveal, so it takes advantage of the excellent fishing or fish identifiers uh, from traditional or chirp sounders and overlays it with the better resolution of your down scan. Again, to learn more about these features uh, of the Go series, visit that video uh, for more details and settings. Now another feature the Go series has um, improved over the Cruise series is your split screens. You have a lot more options and capabilities as far as setting up uh, combos of screens. You've got a lot more features in here so you can display those different features in different windows. Very easy to customize and you can really set this machine up. Uh, with windows and adjust the size of each of those windows to show exactly what you want on preset screens which can be easily accessed from your home screen. So just a lot more capability there too. Now you can add cartography as I mentioned to the machine uh, if you want to change cartography or save waypoints to a blank SD card. Just on these machines remember that the card slot is in the back of the unit not in the front like some others. So the Go series with a touch screen and with added capabilities and interface capabilities through NEMA 2000, able to tie into different equipment such as radars, autopilots, and other equipment, the Go series is a very good, very capable middle of the road unit that is more than enough for many customers. Now, if you're one of those people that demands the very best, the Simrad NSS Evo 3 S series is Simrad's top of the line. Now um, this is a relatively new series with the fastest processor at the time it was released than any other manufacturer out there and it is a joy to use. And unlike other units in the series, the Cruise and the Go, this uh, NSS Evo 3 is designed to be interfaced and tied in with multiple units. Number of ports on the back of the unit will tell you just how capable this machine is and what you can do with it. Again, if you want to learn more about the NSS EVO 3S, we do have a full video on that and you can click the link down below or above to learn more about the machine. Now the fish finder on the NSS EVO 3S is unbelievable. You can uh, add in the live view module and have live sonar. You have all the capabilities of the Go series, uh, but amplified and the processing speed is just uh, mind blowing. Available in 9, 12, and 16 inch displays, the NSS Evo 3S is just blazingly fast. The screen is incredibly bright, even in direct sunlight, and the resolution is just phenomenal. Uh, with a touch screen, very fast touch screen, and tactile controls on the side, you can operate this machine in any weather, under any conditions, with no problems. You got the best of both worlds uh, with the NSS Evo 3S. And their cartography, the charts that are preloaded in the unit are just absolutely unbelievable with the new CMAP cartography. The resolution and definition is at just uh, extraordinary. The capabilities of the chart plotter uh, combined with the fish finder with structure scan overlay and the coloring, coloration, uh, just, just incredible. It really is a top of the line unit. A maximum resolution, maximum interface capability, maximum 
fish finder capability and just the best of the best, then the Evo 3S is for you. The problem is the Evo 3S is the flagship of Simran's line and it is also the most expensive. Um, the problem you have is once you play with one of these and you see the resolution and the capability of this machine, it's very difficult to go back to either of the other capable units, the Cruiser or the Go. This really is a top of the line unit. Of course, you're gonna pay the price for it, uh, but uh, being able to interface with multiple units and having the touchscreen and tactile controls and a blazingly fast processor just to make it uh, very difficult to uh, decide against. Again, budget would be the, the deciding factor for many people. To learn all the capabilities, specs, features, and functions of all these machines, don't forget to check our other videos linked above and below. Whether you choose the Cruise, the Go 9, or the NSS EVO 3S, they're all incredibly capable machines and you'll be happy with your decision. Well, we hope you liked the video. If you did, remember to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when others are up. And we will see you back here soon.